Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's Felix here again, a realtor in Pensacola, Florida. And today, we're going to be talking about how to really get your business started in real estate. So my first video, that was my title, um, but it didn't really explain how to, um, if you wanted to, get started in real estate. So without further ado, here we go. In order to get started a business in real estate, and if you want to take other people, show them homes, help them with their home selling process, um, you would need to become a realtor in the state of Florida. And in the state of Florida, um, there are a couple steps. You can't just say, hey, I'm good on Instagram and social media. Let me sell your home. You have to get licensed. Um, in order to get licensed, number one, you have to take a 63 hour pre-licensing course. So in this pre-licensing course, it teaches you everything you need to know about real estate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it does not. It, for the most part, it just goes over, I mean, it does talk about real estate um, and things that have to do with real estate, but mostly real estate law. It doesn't really um, get you going once you get your license, like there's not like a step by step um, in that class that kind of gets you going. Um, the class is 63 hours. Um, there are different formats you can take. You can take an online version. You can take an in-person version. Um, usually the in-person version, they're, they try to work with people. They do night classes. Um, I did the class where you just take one week straight, knock it out. Um, that's the class that I took. And then online classes and that's at your own pace you're doing all the reading yourself and you're not having to you know take time off from work and things like that number two at the end of the 63 hour course you're going to have to pass a hundred question end of course exam um, the question is going to go over what you were taught the 63 hours um, to make sure that you understand it, um, you do have to pass that class of that exam with a 70, at least a 70. Now, if you pass that exam with a 70, great, um, you pass the class, but for number three, not so great. So, number three, you have to take a state exam, just like the end of course exam, it's going to be 100 questions long, and you're going to answer questions from things that you learned in the 63 hour course. But on this test, you're gonna to have to score, uh, have a score of 75, um, a score of 75. After you leave the state exam um, room, the second you walk out, you might have to wait a couple minutes. Um, they'll be able to give you an answer on whether you pass or fail. And then you can go sell real estate. No, not yet, <laughs> hold on. You are then able to, after they say that you've passed, able to go find a broker to hang your license under. Now, for a lot of people, this is going to be tough. You know, you got to find a broker or a brand that you see fits you the most. Um, what I did was I wrote down a list. I just made a list of all the brokerages in my area. Then... Um, I brought it down to a list of three that I felt felt fit, fit me the most, the best. And then I went and interviewed those brokers. That's right. You interview them because at the end of the day, um, you are going to be adding to their team. You need to know um, kind of what they offer, things like that, because you're not an hourly employee where they're going to be paying you. Uh, essentially, you're going to be making their paycheck by you selling homes and they're getting in to get a cut of that so when you go to these broker interviews you interview them ask them all the questions things that are important to you and you setting up your future business um, as a realtor all right now after you are narrowed down your list you've interviewed and you found the broker that you wanted to be with um, that you want to be with you can They'll activate your license. Now you can sell real estate. 
Um, you can start reaching out to people, uh, letting them know that you're a realtor now and that you are able to sell real estate in your area, wherever that's at, whatever state. And, you know, you start bringing in some business, right? Um, one of the misconceptions in real estate is that there's just so many realtors that the, the market is just saturated. Um, this is probably not something you want to get into. But really, that's not the case. Um, realtors, every realtor brings something different. So you may bring something that other realtors have not brought. And their clients out there, customers, people, homeowners, home buyers that, you know, gravitate towards that. Um, so now you have found your, you know, your, your niche. So there's, there's no such thing as, you know, there's just too many realtors. Um, I know where I live that could, it could seem like that here in Pensacola, Florida, you see signs all over the place. Um, there's some big powerhouse brokerages. There's a bunch of cars out front, always parked. So you assume, you know, there's not enough, um, room in this pond, but there, there always is. I had this, uh, um, manager once, well, I guess he was a general manager. He was a manager's manager. And he had said this, we used to have um, morning meetings every morning. And he said this, you know, when we came to meetings, he would try to spit some motivational fire, you know, motivation. It was motivational. And one day he said, you know, guys, you know, why do you think the customer you had, you know, the other day at your desk didn't buy from you? Um, and then he started naming things like inventory, maybe our prices, maybe we didn't have um, certain features that other companies had and things like that. And, you know, we're all agreeing with him like, yeah, 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 that's why, that's why, you know, we didn't have the inventory. And he was like, wrong. You're all wrong. They didn't buy from you because of you, right? Uh, he said, at the end of the day, you break it down, everyone up and down the street, because lots of dealers, they're just selling metal, right? If you, if you break a car down to the basics, it's metal. If at the end of the day, they didn't buy from you, it's because they weren't sold on you. Now, in real estate, you're not much of a, a salesman as much as you are a, um, I would say, a consultant um, for someone. Um, with their home buying or home selling process. Uh, but you got, that, you got to keep that in mind. At the end of the day, when someone is deciding who to go with, it's because you have to sell them on you. So don't, you know, fall into this. Um, in real estate, it's saturated. There's so many of them out there. If this is, if that's something that you want to do, then do it. You know, don't let um, someone discourage you even another realtor from saying, hey, there's just too many of us, please don't, please don't join the industry um, because that's not true. That's how you get started in real estate. Um, there's a lot more that, you know, once you get your license and you want to start branding yourself, there's a lot more that you're going to have to kind of go into um, and kind of figure out. And in another video, I'll probably do that, uh, kind of how I, you know, do some locally, um, logos and things like that and how I put myself out there. Um, but for the most part, it's got to be you. Uh, it's got to set you apart from others and how you're seen. Um, there's definitely, definitely um, room, right? Don't let somebody tell you that there's not room. Once again, I need everyone like, subscribe, press that subscription button and you know, if you have any other questions or in the Pensacola area looking to purchase a home or just want to go look at homes, my name is Felix. Uh, my phone number is in the logo. So you just give me a call, give me a text, ask me any questions. Uh, I'll be glad to answer. And until next week.